welcome back guys. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a what I in a day, lots of recipe ideas, and also going to be taking you guys through what I've kind of been doing to keep the baby weight off and just to stay healthy in general. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing before you go. So you guys know the first thing I like to have in the mornings is a tall glass of water. Another thing that I've been doing to stay healthy and just to get a lot more energy is I've switched my morning coffee to plain black coffee. You guys know I usually take it with sugar and half and half and for the past months, actually since the year started, I've been doing nothing but black coffee in the mornings. It gives me so much energy and so much mental clarity and I will do this on days that I fast because it doesn't break your fast, but I will also do it on days that I'm not fasting. And I haven't given up sugar and cream in my coffee completely. I still will have one occasionally as a treat. On days that I'm fasting, coffee is basically my breakfast, and then I just drink lots of water until it's time to eat, which is usually around three or four in the afternoon. On this particular day, I was not fasting, so I'm gonna show you guys what I had for breakfast. I've been obsessed with my air fryer. I recently found this really cute one at Hobby Lobby and it's just so convenient because it's really small so I can keep it on my counter. So I go ahead and preheat that while I prep the rest of my ingredients. And I also preheat my pan where my eggs are gonna go in. By the way, this is the bread that I've been loving. It's really yummy and it has, you know, a lot of times when we get wheat breads, they kind of just taste like cardboard almost, but this one is so flavorful, it's so tasty, and it's really good when you toast it. So I'm actually gonna be toasting it in the air fryer with some tomatoes and some basil pesto. And then I added my layered tomatoes on top, seasoned it with salt and pepper, and I added some mozzarella cheese. And it's gonna create almost like a little mini pizza and I just put it in my air fryer for about five minutes while I cook the eggs. And these are the only seasonings that I'm using for my eggs, chili flakes and also garlic salt. And for oil, I'm using ghee, which is clarified butter. So I start by sauteing some green onions. I absolutely love keeping fresh herbs on hand for quick dishes like this. And then I go ahead and saute some chili flakes. And I like sauteing the chili flakes with that butter at the beginning because it infuses the whole dish and you don't get like pockets of heat. Instead, it's all nice and spicy. And then I go ahead and add my eggs and just kind of let those scramble for a little bit. And by then my toast should be ready. Look how yummy that looks. The cheese gets all melty and it's just so good. And then I just layer those eggs on top and I like to kind of break it up so it's easier to eat. And then I add a little bit of more green onions. If Sebastian's also eating this with me, I will typically make it without the spiciness and then just add it on top to my food. That way he can also have some. By the way, I just discovered this hot sauce from HEB. It is so good. If you see it, definitely try it out. My go-to lunch is typically a salad. So let's say I was fasting on this day, then I would have my coffee and then just lots of water and then I wouldn't eat until this time right now. And this is what I would be breaking my fast with. If you didn't know by now, I'm obsessed with tomatoes. So all my salads have tomatoes in them and I make my salads based on what I have on hand. So on this particular day, I had tomatoes, red onions, green onions. I also had lots of sweet corn that I wanted to use up, some avocado and jalapenos. And I'm gonna be mixing it up and then adding a homemade vinaigrette. I didn't add the jalapenos to the mixture though because I wanted Sebastian to be able to eat this. The dressing is super easy to make and it's something that you can make at the beginning of the week and then just have it for your salads throughout the week. And for this one, I used 
the juice of two limes. I added some green onions, some garlic, some fresh cilantro, salt, and then I topped it off with extra virgin olive oil and then just give it a good shake. At this point, you can taste it. If you want it limeier, just add more lime juice to it. And you can keep this in the fridge for up to a week and it stays nice and fresh. And the longer the salad marinates in this dressing, the yummier it is. So it's also a really good meal prep salad. If this was the first meal I was having this day, I would add some type of protein. Chicken would go good on this. Also, this pasta is a good alternative for protein. It's got 23 grams of protein per serving and it's really tasty. Great option if you don't eat meat. Since I was not fasting on this day, I just had a really big salad. I added my jalapenos in there and then I just had a little soup on the side. I bought this soup a while ago and I've been wanting to try it. So I just went ahead and heated it up. The soup was okay, not my favorite. I'd probably wanna add like more cream to it, more cheese. And then it would not be such a healthy lunch after all. And my go-to beverage for lunchtime or dinner is usually a Topo Chico. It's got zero calories. It's just carbonated water, but it's like a really heavy carbonation. It's so good. It's like drinking a Coke, but with no sugar and no calories. Also wanted to give an honorable mention to a couple of salty snacks that I'm obsessed with. The first are the seaweed crisps. They're just so good. If you like the taste of sushi and you like crispy and salty, try these, they're amazing. My two year old loves them. Also my favorite popcorn. It has to be this exact brand and this exact flavor, which is the crimson popcorn. It is so good. I've tried so many of them. One, just trust me on that. So for dinner, I really wanted to make a dish with potatoes because I had two russet potatoes sitting in my pantry that were just calling my name. And I was gonna boil them and then bake them in the dish that I'm making, but then I went into my freezer to look for veggies and I found this bag of little mini roasted potatoes that I really needed to use up. So I went ahead and used this in my recipe today, but just know that you can use regular potatoes and just boil them for about 15 minutes and then jump into the rest of the steps that I'm showing you guys. So making kind of like a one pan dish, I'm gonna start it off on the stove and then transfer it into the oven to finish cooking. It's very simple ingredients. I'm using onions, you can use red onions, yellow onions, whatever you have, lots of garlic, and then chicken breast. So first I like to go ahead and get my pan super hot because we're gonna be searing the chicken. I just love the char that a cast iron skillet gives a chicken breast. It just makes it stay nice and juicy. So I go ahead and add my avocado oil. You definitely wanna use the oil with a high smoke point for this. Then I go ahead and add my chicken breast and I seasoned it with salt and pepper, by the way. Let that sear for about four to five minutes and then flip it over once it's nice and charred. After I flip it over, I go ahead and add my onions so that they can start softening. Meanwhile, I blanch some broccoli that's also gonna be going in with the chicken. Then I removed the chicken and started making the sauce that's gonna coat all of our veggies. Basically, I just added water, uh, about a fourth of a chicken bouillon to give it some nice flavor. Now I added my garlic. You wanna be careful, don't burn your garlic because our pan is super hot, so this takes about 20 seconds. Then I added the juice of a whole lemon. We're basically making like a lemony sauce. Next, I added my broccoli into the pan and my little frozen potatoes that I showed you guys, and we're just gonna to toss it. Meanwhile, I do have the oven preheating at 425 degrees. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to add some richness. And once everything is evenly tossed, I'm gonna go ahead and place the chicken on top. And for the finishing touch, I added some green olives. Then I popped it in the oven, and once it finished baking, I went ahead and sliced up the chicken. And you guys can just see how juicy this chicken came out because of the way that we cooked it. And then I tossed that in with the rest of the sauce. Such an easy like weekday meal, and it's so tasty. I also like to sprinkle it with Parmesan cheese at the very end, and that's it. So that is it. I hope you guys got some meal ideas from this video. I had a lot of fun making it. If you guys want to see these more frequently, let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.